I felt strong in today's session, so much so that I went off program a little bit. Just one one set. So strict press, great exercise. I think this has got to be the number one thing that has built up my delts. Shoulders are like popping off right now. And it might be uh, pull-ups too. I don't know how much pulling the shoulders do, but they definitely do a lot of pushing. A lot. I like it. I like the strict press. I'm going to be straightforward with it. Right now, the exercises I'm doing are just the ones that I like. Squat every day, uh, once a week, strict press, pushing hard, and pull-ups twice a week, pull-ups, chin-ups, which I'm experimenting doing both right now, and I like both. So that's just what I'm having fun with, and mostly arms, as you can tell, but a little legs every single day, just because I'm injured, I'm taking it easy, but still, this is about strict press. And you already saw, but I did my first working set with 115 pounds. And it was okay. I only got three reps. I think my head wasn't in it from the start. I, I just uh, didn't have 100% of my attention in the moment. And so I was pretty slow with it. And it, it was a weight that I've really not touched in a long time for the strict press, or never for the strict press, but not in a while for overhead press. And 115 is honestly not that heavy, but I just have to keep uh, following the program, getting stronger, and then I can lift 115 in just a few weeks. Today I only got three reps. It was an experiment. Then I went back and did what's actually on my program, <clears throat> which happens to be 105 pounds for three sets of seven. And I decided I'm not going to do three sets. I'm going to do two since I did that first one. And after I did that, I took off another 10 pounds. I went down to 95 pounds. I went for a little AMRAP. Uh, I was aiming for 10 to 12. I ended up getting 11. And then I just muscle up the last one. I just uh, put my hips into it and my legs, and I just threw it up into the air. And that was the pressing, the pressing, not depressing. A big difference. Big, big, big difference. This is good stuff. This is really awesome stuff here. And I'm getting better at it, I'm getting stronger really think I could be strict pressing 135 by the end of the year for reps for reps that's where I want to be right now right now and I can imagine that doing that like uh you know trying to manifest that into my life that'd be really cool then I could do all sorts of stuff I'm thinking handstand push-up Oh, those are so cool. Handstand push-up. You don't even actually need that much, apparently, for handstand push-up. You don't need, like, a body weight overhead press. It's interesting how this stuff translates over to calisthenics, all these movements. I saw a video on ring push-ups. I was thinking, like, no way anyone's going to do ring push-ups. Now I'm convinced, like, this is a pretty solid movement. Just took five minutes. Someone told me, hey, actually the range of motion is pretty cool. Uh, Alex Leonidas video from like two years ago. And yeah, I'll probably incorporate those over the summer when I can do more ring stuff. Uh, as for now, I'm just keeping it light, 25 squats. That's what's been happening. Tomorrow's going to be another easy day. Uh, today I pushed it a little bit harder just for a couple sets, and it's kind of weird 
working out this way because I'm doing so, so, so little compared to what I was doing before. But it's also really cool to see that I could still improve and I can take time to work on other things. I don't just need to be in the gym 24-7 hammering. Yeah, okay, still I work out every single day, but uh, like you don't have to be crazy about it. You could just live an active lifestyle and that's pretty sufficient. Like 25 squats is very doable for a lot of people. I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching.